Hello, my name is Noor Shami and I'm the pharmacist. We have this patient, her name is Margot Thompson, that came into the hospital complaining about an increased asthma symptom. She's 27 year old, old African American female. Her past medical history includes persistent asthma and general motor seizures, controlled on topomycin, complains of an increased asthma symptoms but does not appear to be acutely distressed, states that her daytime symptoms is approximately three times a week and uses her rescue inhaler three to four times per week, but not usually multiple times a day. And she has uh, awakened by her symptoms approximately once a week. Symptoms are not tiring. States that her compliance to her asthma medication demonstrates proper inhaler techniques. Patient wonders if her asthma medication needs to be changed. Her past medical history includes persistent asthma, for about one year, she had she's had asthma on maintenance drugs and acute inhalers, general motor seizures. It's about two months, and it's stable with topomycin. Her vaccines are up to date. Her influenza shot was last given June 2020. Her family history: her dad had, her dad died from prostate cancer at the age of 62. Her social history: she denies alcohol. She's a former smoker, but quit three years ago. She's also a full-time grad student, and her insurance is Blue Cross Blue Shield. Her medication list includes Flovant, 88 micrograms, two puffs BID, Ventolin, two puffs Q4 as needed to breathe, Topomycin 100 milligrams BID, Tri Spintec, one tablet by mouth once a day, and she's allergic to gabapentin. Her, all her immunizations are up to date. Her review of symptoms is leverage, no acute distress. Her physical findings, we have insomnia and an increase in asthma symptoms, mild wheezing, blood pressure is 110 over 72, heart rate is 90, temperature is 36.8 Celsius, her RPM is 18, she's Five seven, she weighs one hundred and fifty eight pounds. Her BMI is twenty three point two. All her all her labs are in normal range. Her clearance clearance is one twenty. The prob problem stated is uncontrolled asthma with uncontrolled mild persistent asthma. Her level of evidence we got it from the Gina guidelines in box four. Goal for the problem is to reveal her, re relieve her symptoms of insomnia, re relieve symptoms of persistent asthma, prevent exacerbation, reduction, reduce or prevent using a rescue inhaler. The drug we want to change is her Flovan. We want to change that to. What are we changing it to? Okay, her drug regimen, we wanna change her Flovan to Symbacor 80 micrograms, 45 milligrams, by mouth twice a day for three months. Her safety, safety and monitoring procedures, we should watch out for headache, oral thrush, and try cardiac. We wanna plan to reassess her one to three months if she's well controlled for three months, then we can go down on therapy. Do you have any questions?